Lord. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Like I said, <coughs> all my furniture on my back porch is gone. But good afternoon. It's um like 10 till 3, so I'm going to go ahead and round about 3, even though 10 till 3 is an even number. I'm going to just say 3. Um, this video is brought to you by the porch. There's my Shih Tzu, and there's my Pitsy. Um, well, not Pitsy, but Pit Bull. Um, uh, you know, all my furniture's gone, so I'm sitting on the back porch <laughs> doing this video. Um, because, I mean, it's beautiful outside. 51 degrees. 15 mile an hour sustained winds and 25 mile an hour gusts today. And I tell you, I feel it, but I'm burning up. So can you tell I'm not wearing a hoodie, long sleeve shirt, nothing? Well, except, what are these things? Jogging pants. And so, that I mean, other than that, and, well, socks. <laughs> I mean, other than that, I'm okay, and I'm sitting in the shade, and that makes it cold. Because this porch stays shaded. But other than that. Um, I want to say thank you, Kimber Lime, Limey, Kimber Limey, I think that I got that right, I'm not used to saying Limey, um, um, for the words, I love chit-chatting with you, I really do, we need to get together on, you know, Google Plus or Google Hangout somewhere, we really need to start chitter boxing a little bit more, because we, you know, I enjoy that, I talk to a lot of Skype, I, I mean, I talk to a lot of friends who are males who deal with Lime, but and I talked to one female who's got Lyme, Jean Alice. You guys heard me mention her. But you're my second female that I've actually interacted with and I get along with. Well, not, I get along with everybody. It's just, we have a lot of our symptoms that are in common. But I'm getting off the page. Um, but I'll answer you. My hand um, puffiness has went down this morning. Well, we're, there you go. See? I mean, yeah, you're going to see this spot because that was the deepest spot right on top of my knuckle. So, but the pus has stopped and I'm just having a lot of clear liquids coming out of it. So, other than that, that's good. And then I cut myself again this morning. Um, I, I love mason jars and I have a mason jar with a handle and I was washing it. I don't know what I did. I went stupid, I guess. And I broke it and it cut my finger, if you can see that, so I got put some stitch glue, but yes, the, um, also Kimber, the, um, stitch glue does, has worked once the swelling went down, or the puffiness, whoo, that's cold, once the puffy, I'm gonna steal your blanket, Pandy, once the puffiness went down, um, the stitch glue actually started working better, so now it, it has it heast, heast? It, ha it has connected to this from one skin to the other part of the skin better. I, that my I'm I'm lime out. I mean, my brain is freaked. I have a lot going on, and I know I will. Um, a lot of my recent videos are not. Oh my God, I gotta move. It's cold. I know a lot of my videos have not been lime related. What baby girl? Um, recently, but hey, I'm in the middle of a move. Oh, I see sunshine. And can you see how bare that is? All you see is a tarp, my plants, and a washer. I'm walking where my table was where I used to film all the time. But um, let me get this out of the sun real quick, guys. See if I can get it out of the sun. Right there. So i got to stand doing this video, but I'm in the sun and I'll... <laughs> but, um, if you see me get bright real quick, it's because I got to warm up. I mean, I will, um, I had insomnia last night and I did not go to sleep, <sighs> but I also had a, a, a headache and I couldn't get rid of it no matter what I did. Even the prescription medicine they gave me, I could not get rid of it and, um, kept me with insomnia. Not only that, but, um, for some reason this was I could hear feel my heartbeat through it so it was really throbbing and achy last night now it's not doing it today thank you <laughs> but um 
and that's what kept me up last night. And but uh, on that note of last night, guys, th th you guys are gonna think this is freaky. Well, it it was to me. So I mean, hang. Sorry, guys. I my dogs needed to get in, but um, you know, a pit bull with thin hair and my Shih Tzu was sh shaved butt naked. <laughs> They're freezing, so I had to put them in, so I apologize for the glitch here, and I'm trying to get to a perfect spot where you guys can actually see me and not the sunshine, but um, last night around 10 o'clock, I knew my animals had to be walked, so I went in. I am still working with this thing to find a spot. Well, I guess I'll be in the sun today. Bloody hell. No, I'll just do it then. Well, I, I let them go out, and um, I had opened my front door, and um, I, I thought I heard a howl or a yelp of a dog. I know I did, and but I knew it wasn't the idiot neighbor's um, beagles, and now he's got him a pit bull, a white pit bull like mine, but it's, man, it don't even reach my knees. And he picked it up because, uh, and I know I'm getting off the subject, but um, he ended up getting this pit because my pit, who is a good hundred pounds, you know, you bring a dog comes up in this yard and he's going to attack it. Like I've told you guys, that's what he's bred for. Well, not bred, but trained for to protect mama, me. And he got him a pit. <laughs> now I'm going to think, uh, this is hilarious because Beautiful pit, beautiful, but short, 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 because mine goes up to, almost to my hips, he's so tall, mine does, he's higher, closer to my hips than he is in between my hip and my thigh, my boy's big, um, so the, I saw this pit as I was letting him walk yesterday outside while I was picking up Kenlin for the fire, I'm out in the front yard, and up comes this white pit, well, unbeknownst to me, I didn't know this pit is a female so, instead of him getting, he kept the pit away from my yard, kept him down there at the gate, but I guess he's going to be having him some pretty little white puppies, pit puppies, because put two and two together there, and you figure it out. <laughs> There's going to be some white puppies, and it's going to be my pit's fault, but I'll be gone. So, that ain't my fault, that's his fault. But, um, I, I get back to the story, I went and I let my pit and my shih tzu, Pandora and Hades, I'm... Once you guys get used to names, I'll just keep saying Pandy and Hades. Or also they call him Radar because I never clipped his ears. And there's some tall ears. But um, I, it was around 10, 10.30 last night and I opened my front door. And as you guys could see, there's my car. And it's right beside this back porch, okay? Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's closer to my back porch than the front. And I opened the, I knew I had heard a dog, but I didn't know if it was his beagles chasing something or what it was. And I know we have coyotes out here. So I opened the door and Hades went out and then my Pandora went out after him and they were on my husband's, where on, if here's my husband's car parked like this, literally, and they went on this side of the car. Then I heard the howl. Yeah, I knew then it was a howl, yelping howl. And I look over to my right, and right there at the front of my red car, right there, right there, in the front of it, was a coyote. And it howled, or yelped, to let the others notify, hey, I'm up here, I got food, whatever. I don't know. But I looked, and I went, O-S. That's the only word I'm going to say. I said, Hades, Pandy, in, 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 in. They come looking at me like, okay, well, we didn't even use the bathroom. Run back in the house. I crept back up in the house and then went to my wood stove heater section that has a sliding door, a uh, sliding door, Lord. I'm a sliding glass window. And I looked at, presumed to look at it to go, okay, where, where is he? Boy, I'm hating this sunshine. Oh, my God. But, um, we ended up. I, uh, my husband was already asleep, so I ended up calling them in, and I looked out, and I'm like, well, what is he? He's still standing there, right there, and I'm thinking, oh, my God, oh, my God, so I peek my head like an idiot, because people, I'm not really afraid of anything but God, and that's the truth, I 
peek my head out the window, not realizing I'm like in between my hip and my breast, and we're the leaning out, not realizing all this underneath me under the ground and to the right and to the left of me, there could be one. Not thinking I'm stupid, yeah, I know, but um, I'm just watching him and he just gallops right here up in the yard. He howls one more time, and I mean, it was the freakiest, not him, the freakiest thing was after he howled all the way over here where I call my 440, all the way around to at the end of this house where you see this, those woods right there was a whole pack of coyotes right there on the edge. And they all begin to howl, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, dogs, you're going to start pee You know what a pee pad is? You've been trained to pee pad. You're going to pee pad on, at nighttime. I am not letting you outside anymore at night because we've lived here for now over seven months, and now they're getting closer. I don't know if it's because, you know, uh, for over six months to a year, Nobody had lived here, and now, you know, you got a garbage can out here with garbage that before we tow it off, and then, you know, and I've got a burn pile that I burn things. I don't know if they're coming closer because, or they smell my, was, smelt my Shih Tzu, who's been, was in heat, who's not no more. Thank you, God. Woo! I hate when she's in heat, but, um, I don't know why, but they're starting to get closer and closer, and I mean, they're right here at a stick throw away. I mean, from me to my storage shed, which is not far at all. It's not even 25 yards from me to my storage shed. That's like how far my car is. It, it's just the video doesn't do justice. So they're going to start pee padding it. Oh, my ears start ringing. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I hate when my ear rings. And it's never both. And if I talk loud, I'm sorry. It's either my right one or my left one. And it's mostly my left. Oh, Thank you. It's mostly my left one that does it. And I mean, you, I know you guys, if you have ear ringing, you know what I'm talking about. Or tinnitus. I think that's the word it's called. Oh, that's the highest pitch you can ever handle. And then it gets your ear where it feels like it's stuffed with cotton or filled with water. So... But that's what I just did with. So for now on at night time, they're gonna they're gonna be able to take potty breaks outside right till dark time. Because I mean I I knew I was hearing them at early in the mornings, but now it's ten o'clock at night, and I don't know how long they were in my side yard before. Excuse me, I walked them. But off that, um, I had insomnia last night and could not sleep because I had a headache and my finger was throbbing horribly so I stayed up all night but I finally my body crashed this morning around 7 38 o'clock curled up on my bed and woke up at 2 and it's 3 now so I guess I needed the sleep I woke up with my pit bull pit with Hades and shit um <clears throat> Hades and Pandora up on the bed with me little rascals so Woke up at 2, took my medicines, and went, okay, did I really sleep this late? I don't rarely sleep during the day unless I feel horrible. Even with insomnia, it doesn't bother me. So, that was that. And then um, tomorrow I've got to go over to our house. Um, they're turning the electric on tomorrow, which is Thursday, but they're not turning the pet. Yeah, they're turning the power on tomorrow, which is Thursday, and they're turning our water on Friday. So, we don't know what's running and what's not, since there's no water in the house. I mean, like I said, we've got it. They just haven't come over and turned it on. But tomorrow, power gets turned on, and Friday, the water gets turned on. But the thing is, is I've got to go over there and turn the hot water heater breaker, or all the breakers off that we've not finished putting the caps over. Or the, yeah, the covers to put back into the wall because we had to redo all the wiring. So, I've got to go over there in the morning and wait for them to put the electric in, sign it, 
and I'll have power. And I'm going to flip on the hot, that, well, I've already got it turned on, dummy. I'm going to, um, I can't just go over there and do that. So I'm going to go over there and unpack some. So you'll probably get a video from that house tomorrow. The house we're moving into, even though it's, it's a mess right now with boxes everywhere, kitchen, <laughs> everything. So that's what I'll end up doing tomorrow. And I got to turn that hot water heater breaker off so it don't burn the, uh, brand new hot water heater we put in's breaker since there's no water to fill it up so that's what I got to do tomorrow um, it is cold out here and I do mean cold I mean these 25 the 15 mile an hour sustained winds is bad enough but when you get the 25 mile an hour gust on top of it it makes it worse I can't really remember what I've even talked about so I don't know if I if I say it I'm repeating it. I mean it's bad. 